Did you know that the term Industry 4.0 was first introduced way back in 2011? Since then, with the addition of IoT and cloud computing, our industrial applications have been more powerful, more connected, and streamlined than ever before. But there is another way that we can increase performance, efficiency, and sustainability in our industrial plants with the use of mobility. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Patrick Casey from Schneider Electric and I explore the multitude of benefits that mobility brings to industrial applications. We investigate how Schneider Electric's Harmony Hub can simplify monitoring and testing, increase operational efficiency and connectivity openness in industrial plants, and how NFC technology can bring new innovation possibilities to IIoT applications. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Schneider Electric. Hi, Patrick. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about mobility in manufacturing today and how we can unlock the productivity and efficiency of a connected plant. But Patrick, before we get started, can you set the stage for us? Why are we moving in this direction? So I always like to remind myself why we're pursuing any new product or solution in the first place. We're always looking for ways to create more value for our consumers, to make our factories more productive and safe, and to make the world a more efficient and better place to live, ultimately. Schneider's version of this is life is on. And if you think about the trends in the modern day, what we call industry 4.0, perhaps, We've seen this search for value and efficiency turn into concepts like the Internet of Things, 3D printing, cloud computing, cybersecurity, mobile technologies, AI. Today, I'll just go through two examples, expanding on what I can from the Schneider side and a little bit of what Schneider is doing in mobile technologies through two of our offers, what we call the Harmony Hub and our NFC style relay. These are two products in our push button, relays, tower lights portfolio, so we're looking at more of your front interfacing control devices that you might find on a machine. And our goal was to see how we can make these small products more efficient for our customers. So we looked at mobility. All right. So when it comes to mobility, what are the biggest design concerns we need to keep in mind? Right. That's a great question. So what do we mean by mobility? We're typically looking for freedom of movement on the manufacturing floor with this benefit being assisted by quick installation and quick setup, maybe quick configuration and diagnostics, things you can do easily and then get moving again. This is mostly done through connected products like using wireless technologies. So the side benefit of mobility with connected products is our ability to collect data from the machine. Anytime you're able to collect data, some added benefits from the analysis of that data are reducing the loss of production, identifying energy usage, the ability to monitor and trace the production line. All these points contribute to better efficiency and sustainability in manufacturing when it comes to design concerns. That makes sense. Now, Patrick, do you have any examples you can share with us in this arena? Absolutely. Where might these benefits be used? Perhaps you need some distance between yourself and the machine for safety reasons. You might need to call for action remotely or remotely operate a relay or switch. You can do this on the manufacturing line, and you can do so with minimal wiring in the way. Maybe you are either stationary or moving to the machine, so you're trying to operate something that is in motion or vice versa. And automated guide vehicles are gaining lots of popularity, so maybe you need that machine to change states from far away. Or perhaps you simply need to read the status of a machine or a specific relay to better troubleshoot an issue without pulling the equipment off the line. These are all things to expect out of mobility. Okay, so Patrick, we also need to think about simplifying testing and monitoring of equipment, right? Exactly. Imagine changing the settings without 
touching the knobs or dials, reading each relay status without opening up the panels or even overriding output without examining the relay. Now it's possible with more mobile technologies. So Patrick, what kind of solutions does Schneider Electric offer to help here? Right. Let's dive into first the Harmony Hub. Essentially, the Harmony Hub is a small controller. You can see the small black box in the middle of the slide there, and it acts as an intermediate device between the wireless interface devices, like push buttons, relays, or remote controls, and the PLC or industrial PC you have for the machine or process. It will use the Modbus TCP protocol to communicate to the upstream PLC, and for the wireless edge devices, like the push buttons or sensors, it will use a Zigbee 2.4 gigahertz radio transmission to communicate to those. So through this controller, the Harmony Hub, you can both use it as the controller for your wireless devices to operate machinery, but it also collects the physical signals from an operator interface or secondary sensing device to generate computed data. And you can further connect this data to a dedicated software platform for analysis. It can be configured manually using the jog dial on it, a seven segment display for configuration and diagnostic modes, or via a software. Schneider has a whole suite of software programs like Sew Machine or Unity Pro software, or you can use a third party FTT container, device type manager, or you can use an SD card. So there are various ways to configure this so that you can connect all of your individual wireless edge devices and promote mobility throughout the manufacturing floor. Fantastic. So Patrick, what kind of features are we looking at with this Harmony Hub? All of the devices will use a transmitter that uses 2.4 gigahertz Zigbee radio transmission. So this is the industrial wireless communication technology. You have up to 60 input output channels to support many different connections throughout the ecosystem. You could connect temperature or humidity sensors, limit switches, energy sensors or CTs, various push button operators. We have wireless batteryless push buttons. They use the mechanical energy of pressing the push button to send a signal. The idea is connectivity to help with this mobility, and it's compatible with different PLC, IoT boxes, and what at Schneider we have the EcoStructure Maintenance Advisor to help with monitoring, configuration, and setup. So speaking of the wireless ecosystem, what kind of solutions does Schneider Electric offer here? So there are numerous devices other than just push buttons you can connect to the Harmony Hub reducing wiring, increasing your mobility, but still allowing you to keep tabs on all of your machine or process operations. Here's just an overview of some of the wireless components that you might find or need. And uh, really wanna highlight the transmitter, the relay, and the repeater that we have here. On the left, we have some different operators you might have. We have various push buttons, selector switches that you might put a transmitter on the back of to transmit back to the Harmony Hub or to operate a remote relay. We have some mobile boxes, remote controls, or push button handhelds you can use to perform the same function. You can get these as complete offers, or you can get them in the different components. And they connect back to really two devices. You're going to have your Harmony Hub, or for a more simple solution, you can connect back to a particular single relay that you might want to operate that's on the machine. These come in different packs, so you can pick and choose what combination of items you might want for your ecosystem. And then we have a few different accessories you can use. The transmitter, a repeater that you can put throughout the factory for better connection as you move around. We have different operators that you can use, like a pulley system, maybe for a door, or we have other connected devices you can use. So Patrick, what would a typical application look like in this case? Perhaps you are going to require a call for action or a call for help that an operator might make a decision for that only an operator can make. And so the operator is going to push a button to ask for a maintenance request once the device failure has occurred or any request needs to be made. The Harmony Hub is going to receive a command from the one push button, and the system is then going to read that command from the hub and forward it to a wireless receiver. And that wireless receiver will turn on corresponding color, perhaps, like a tower light might indicate a status that the operator has requested. Additionally, as automated guided vehicles are gaining steam throughout the industry, Another solution is you use the push button to call for an AGV. Maybe you're stationary and it's somewhere in the factory and you need it to change a state or you need it to perform a function. You use the push button to call the AGV, 
place the Harmony Hub in the factory and have active antennas throughout so that you can receive the signal no matter where the AGV is in the factory. And the AGV server will prioritize the flow of AGVs based off of what you had that function perform. So the advantage of this is you can reduce or avoid some risky moves by the operator or the vehicle, and you can modernize and optimize the factory process in this way. Additionally, part of the benefit of the Harmony Hub is data analytics. You're able to take in the data, analyze it, and use that for actions on creating more efficient processes. So we have an energy sensor that can connect to the Harmony Hub, and the sensor might send numerical data to the Harmony Hub when the process is running. The hub receives the data, perhaps an HMI reads this regularly from the Harmony Hub memory to analyze and record the energy usage, and you can monitor the efficiency or sustainability of your plant through this wireless ecosystem. Fantastic. Now, Patrick, we're seeing a lot more applications using NFC in this arena lately, right? Absolutely. Because NFC is commonly used in smartphones, enabling users to make mobile payments or even charge the phone, it is estimated that currently there are about 2.2 billion NFC-enabled mobile phones out there. So we brought the idea to the control relay so we can dramatically improve the solution's usability and the user's experience bringing a digital solution to the table rather than an analog operation. This means the user can easily communicate with the device, saving time, boosting efficiency when monitoring the relay or changing any of its settings. All right. So, Patrick, can you walk me through how this solution works? Absolutely. So first, the idea is you want to install the relay device onto your DIN reel or panel on the application that you have. And then what you would do is you would download an app from the store to your phone. This could be used on an iOS device or an Android. And you would set the settings of a relay, of the equivalent relay in the app. And then you can make the changes by putting your phone up to the relay and configuring your device remotely. This is great because you can actually walk up to the panel, put your phone up there without having to remove any of the devices in there, reconfigure something, run diagnostics, and then move on. So you'd install the relay device, you'd open the app, you'd set the function, time, and adjust any other settings as needed, and then you can read the relay status, change settings, diagnose issues, all through the app. So we also need to consider packaging, right? What kind of design concerns should we keep in mind here? A control relay will usually read the voltage or current of the process, maybe under voltage, phase failure, or phase reversal. This relay will perform those same functions with varying ranges, like normal. But if you have a problem with the relay, the ability to log historical faults into events and pinpoint exact failures, such as phase loss, under voltage, is possible through the app. We have seven different monitoring functions to protect against faults in three-phase power networks. And when these faults happen, sometimes it's difficult to know exactly what was the issue. End users usually blame manufacturers for you know, machine faults, seldom check parameters, maybe the quality of the three-phase network is at fault. What you can do is you can read the time and where the fault occurred. And so you can read for better diagnostics what the actual issue is. And maybe you don't need to replace the relay. Perhaps you can better pinpoint when something happens what was happening during that time, and go from there. So for a packaging application, you're going to want to ensure that all the motors in the packaging machines are operating in the right direction. This relay will do that with its phase voltage applications, its phase voltage features, just with a more mobile application. All right. Well, that's almost all the time I have today. But before we go, Patrick, can you recap your main points for me? Right. The goal of these devices is to provide freedom of mobility quick and easy install, or quick and easy setup, configuration, monitoring, or diagnostics. And moving forwards, I know we have some efforts in place to optimize the form factor of some of these devices, as well as ensure they have increased performance and latest firmware. The idea is to introduce mobility into the manufacturing floor so we can maximize efficiency and sustainability in our plants. Fantastic. Well, Patrick, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. This has been great. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Schneider Electric. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from EE Journal. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash EE Journal.